This year's challenge was a mobility challenge and we were looking for solutions that would help people enable personal mobility across the lifespan. What kind of products and services would really match with the market's needs and what were innovative and original in design. I was incredibly inspired today by the students, the way they looked at the opportunity to go beyond meeting the needs and really think about connection. We wanted to distinguish ourselves and create something that empowered older adults to engage. We're the team of SPAN. My name is Maya. This is my partner, Nick. And we are third year industrial design students at California College of the Arts. What the very successful teams are doing is they're really going out and talking to real people. So that's why we created SPAN. It provides uh, the user with uh, constant support when going down to the ground and also when coming back up again. It's not a walker, it's not a walking stick, it's not a chair, it's a new product category, frankly. They're not innovating for, but innovating with. It opened my eyes in a way that I don't think I would have ever started thinking about in terms of design and development without being here today. We're Team Handlebar and we won second place at the Stanford Design Challenge. Part of the um, challenge of the competition was bringing just our basic design from our classroom setting and um, presenting it to um, businesses and venture capitalists. Such a rare opportunity to be in this room with so many pioneers. Hi, my name is Dennis Lin. Um, I'm with Eat Well last year's winner. It really gave us a platform to launch us kind of uh, into the next stratosphere. We were able to connect with a lot of people that we really needed to meet. We helped the students to be able to know the business side of things to actually create viable solutions. Issues around aging are really becoming mainstream issues for everybody and we're seeing the involvement of very mainstream sponsors. So we're very excited about next year's challenge. Uh, the topic is going to be optimizing longevity through happiness. What makes a good day for somebody as they age? Thinking about older people as us instead of them is really a worthy goal. This idea of intergenerational innovation is something that is at the core of what we do at Aging 2.0. We're excited to use this opportunity to make this a reality.